Salutations, my name is Summer, and this is Cozy Reading with Quaker Cats, and here comes Sylvie. I want to read a favorite poem today. I, I just reread Sylvia Plath's collection of poems. I've had this since May 22nd, 1996, <laughs> and it's been a long time since. I read Ariel uh, not that long ago, and Ariel's collection's in here. Um, but yeah, I want to share this with you. <clears throat> In plaster. I shall never get out of this. There are two of me now. This new, absolutely white person and the old yellow one. And the white person is certainly the superior one. She doesn't need food. She is one of the real saints. At the beginning, I hated her. She had no personality. She lay in bed with me like a dead body, and I was scared because she was shaped just the way I was. Only much wider and unbreakable and with no complaints. I couldn't sleep for a week. She was so cold. I blamed her for everything, but she didn't answer. I couldn't understand her stupid behavior. When I hit her, she held still like a true pacifist. Then I realized what she wanted was for me to love her. She began to warm up, and I saw her advantages. Without me, she wouldn't exist, so of course she was grateful. I gave her a soul. I bloomed out of her as a rose, blooms out of a vase of not very valuable porcelain. And it was I who attracted everyone's, everybody's attention, not her whiteness and beauty, as I had at first supposed, I, pa I patronized her a little and she lapped it up. You could tell almost at once she had a slave mentality. I didn't mind her waiting on me and she adored it. In the morning, she woke me early reflecting the sun from her amazing white torso and I couldn't help but notice her tidiness and her calmness and her patience. She humored my weakness like the best of nurses, holding my bones in place so they would mend properly. In time, our relationship grew more intense. <clears throat> she stopped fitting me so closely and seemed offish. I felt her criticizing me in spite of herself and in my habits, and if my habits offended her in some way, she let in the drafts and became more and more absent-minded and my skin itched and flaked away in soft pieces simply because she looked after me so badly. Then I saw what the trouble was. She thought she was immortal. She wanted to leave me. She thought she was superior and I'd been keeping her in the dark and she was resentful, wasting her days, waiting on a half corpse and secretly she began to hope I'd die. Then she could cover my mouth and my eyes, cover me entirely, and wear my painted face the way a mummy case wears a face of a pharaoh, though it's made of mud and water. I wasn't in any position to get rid of her. She supported me for so long, I was quite limp. I had even forgotten how to walk or sit. So I was careful not to upset her in any way or brag ahead of time how I'd avenge myself. Living with her was like living with my own coffin. Yet I still depended on her, though I did it regretfully. I used to think we might make a go of it together. After all, it was a kind of marriage being so close. Now I see it must be one or the other of us. She, she may be a saint and I may be ugly and hairy but she'll soon find out that that didn't ma doesn't matter a bit. I'm collecting my strength. One day I shall manage without her and she'll perish with emptiness then and begin to miss me. <clears throat> March 18th, 1961. So yeah, that is uh, in plaster. And I, um, you can tell. <laughs> Even as a teenager, I loved it. And yes, I dog-eared. <laughs> I don't always, but I did back then, and, and I still do sometimes. So yeah, uh, Sylvia Plath, she's uh, 
one of my favorites. She's, I have to take her when um, I'm in a lighter mood because she can be heavy. She can be dark. Um, but she always makes you think about things. So, yeah, if you guys have a favorite poem, I would love to um, I'd love to hear it. Let me know down in the comments below. Or if you have a channel um, and you make a video of a favorite poem, please let me know because I'd love to watch it. I hope everybody has a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.